So, uh, pretty sure I have COVID. Yeah. And uh, I say this uh, less than two feet away from you. So that's cool. I mean, pretty much at this point, if I do have it, you have it. And or you neo avoided it. Yeah, I was telling mom in the morning, it's like, uh, we went to get this test, which is the whole thing, by the way. Uh, and I was like, yep, we're basically 69 last night, so yep. I'm pretty sure I got it too. Yeah, sucking each other's tutors all night. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it wasn't good. Look, uh, yeah, I got up yesterday and I was insanely sore, having done absolutely nothing as evidenced by my... Uh, person rotund <laughs> rotund nature look uh yeah i had done shit guys so i was sore everywhere guy every nook and cranny was sore not even not even muscle nooks and crannies is all i got and i was like this is unusual and uh then i noticed piercing agony in every one of my joints and i was like what the fuck especially my shoulder joints mm. you know what i'm saying Shoulder joints? Is there another name for them? Is there, my shoulders it's usually just call it the shoulder, but yeah. yeah. They they was like nails being driven into them and oh. I was like, What is this man? But whatever, I went over and uh, I was like, All right, well let's go uh let's go consume mass quantities yeah. uh conehead style. <laughs> good, good <ending. laughs> remember that ad? Yeah, classic. Uh boop! I'm pretty sure most people watching us are not old enough to remember that ad. Well, it's a good thing because it sucked. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the point is uh, I went over and I uh, was like, well, this is a thing. And uh, yeah, yeah. So we, we went out to eat at uh, this uh, cretinous Chinese place. Yeah. And uh, usually we, we, you know, it's a, it's a buffet. You eat a lot. You know what I'm saying? P.S. We're fat. So there's that, that factor to throw in. But um, uh, I didn't feel hungry at all. Which is unusual, by the way, in case you haven't figured, <laughs> yeah. figured that one out. <laughs> you said that like it was a major <laughs> twist in the picture, which granted it kind of is, but yeah. then you added that part. Uh, I don't think it was needed, but... Some uh, would say unnecessary. Yeah, very unnecessary. Uh, the point is, uh, I wasn't hungry, man, because all of a sudden I felt uh, kind of like feverish. There was definitely chills running up and down the entirety of my body. And uh, I was feeling extremely nauseous. And I was like, well, that's not good, is it? And of course, uh, you know, as the uh, eating sesh uh, uh, went on, uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't eating sesh for you. It was a nothing sesh for me. Uh, as it you, went on. You did uh, eat a melon. Well, well I was going to say that, guy. You have to clarify that to cover for your eating sesh <laughs> it was it was a it was a healthy eating sesh for me i'm not gonna lie the point is i, I ate was like a, 17 freaking uh, uh, fried <laughs> chicken chickens <laughs> like a bucket of noodles i think <laughs> anyway fucking as the eating sesh for you uh, went on i got increasingly sicker and uh i felt kind of disoriented and then I, I was like actually feverish you know it takes sometimes you don't you can't tell if you're hot or not yourself. Yeah, Someone yeah. else has to touch you. I could tell I was hot. I like definitely I was, wasn't going to touch you. I was like, God damn, man. This, I'm steaming over here. Steaming like the food coming off this eating sesh maniac's <laughs> plate. <laughs> That's a anyway. shirt. Eating sesh maniac with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, a fucking... Uh, uh, so I only ate a plate of fucking watermelon and, uh, and uh, melon because that's kind of my go-to there. And uh, man, it smells like dog dookie up in this re- smells freaking like ass freaking place. Smells like aquarium guy. That's a dog duke filled aquarium. But anyway, the point is, uh, we came home, and uh, a headache struck me. You know, and I was really like, oh, by the way, this whole time, it was like almost impossible for me to move. Like I didn't feel like moving. That type of impossible for me to move. <laughs> Again, not, not something not not unusual usually. No, that's not even a problem ever. This time it was. I think you're projecting that one on me. No, nah, homie. I feel that they made that classic. Song, I feel like a you, sedentary man after you. I feel, <laughs> I feel like you've uh, done like that that guy that who grew into his couch. You have, nah, the, homie. You have the fabrics like interweaving you with your about? flesh. I'm like the freaking Grinch. I'm like slithering across the floor all the day. The Grinch because your couch is green. Well, I mean, it is green. That's the fur. <laughs> it is green. On your, on your ass. 
Hey, I got that couch from you, so it was green before you gave it. Well, that's because of the moss that grew on it from me leaving it in the corner, aka moss corner. You know, you know what's kind of gross in the morning. Uh, moss it? corner. <laughs> it's actually what they call my 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 grundle. <laughs> In the morning, I got up from the couch, the moss couch, in case you were wondering. And, <laughs> and I guess I had a serious case of the Johnny wet ass. <laughs> there was a mad line. It was a line? It was like a moist line. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's sick, man. <laughs> my, mind you, this is kind of like a felty type of thing, so it might have just been the, the, the thing. But... Oh, like, like the crushed <laughs> velvet? <laughs> yeah, but, but I saw it and I was like, oh, that's probably Johnny Wetass. <laughs> it struck it's, again. It's definitely Johnny Wetass. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, anyway, uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> Crundles, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, the point is uh, I felt like very... Very drained of energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, nevertheless, we watched the movie and I was fine through that. And then we had to record the videos that never get released, the reviews <laughs> <laughs> of the movies afterwards. And uh, I was like, <laughs> oh man, uh, it took a it took a few false starts to get into the groove because I was like, I was like out of it. I kind of spaced out. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was I was kind of like afraid of going to sleep. I was like, what if it's not that and I'll just wake up dead? That's right, wake up dead. <laughs> Classic. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to sleep and do it. I have not slept that thoroughly in easily like over 12 years. Pretty good. Like straight sleep. Like, let me see. It was over 12 hours of sleep just straight. And I woke up and I felt a little better. The headache was gone. Uh... You know, I still had a little bit of the nausea, but not not a lot. I felt better overall, basically. Uh, the only thing that persisted was kind of like the lack of energy a little bit. Not so much as the day before, but a little bit. And the pain in the joints, especially the shoulders. God damn, man, what is this? Being crucified by the shoulders? Jack's shoulder was a what the... Yeah, man, it's, it was not good. Johnny, Johnny Wetass was... <laughs> I don't know why I just brought up Johnny Wetass. <laughs> anyway, the point is, He's struck man, you bought a or you you got a uh, fucking a COVID test. Classic, you know one of those you can buy at the store now. Remember when everybody was clawing to get one? Mm-hmm. Now you can just buy one at the store. That's pretty weird. But anyway, uh, you bought one of those, figuring you know might as well know, seeing how everybody's contact everybody now in here in our at our homestead. Yeah, we're literally sixty nine, like we said. So. Uh, I get this test, man, and, and, and you know, it has the little test. It has this little dropper, and uh, it's supposed to include a swab that has been unsoiled by any foreign contact. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's pretty important. Pretty important. It even says, make sure the swab has not touched anything as it will give a false negative. And, well, by the way, it also says, like, you have to keep the card that you, you do the test on it's super flat. I and mean, if it's not, it might give a false negative. But you open this fucking thing. First of all, if it's supposed to be flat, why do you give it to us folded? So they tell you you can, like, push it back, you know, like, fold it the other way so it could get flatter. But you do that and it's still all crooked and shit. So you're like, well, this is a great test. Anyway, uh, you drop, you're supposed to drop six drops into one hole. And uh, this dropper is the hardest dropper on the face of the planet. Like, it's made of stone. <laughs> right? So I'm dropping them suckers in there, and I'm like, I, I guess that was six, even though it felt like not six. But anyway, fucking drop six drops in there, and then and then you're supposed to swab your fucking nose. And I, that's when I realized there's no swab. Who doesn't do a swab? And then I and I look at the contents of the box, and it's supposed to have the swab. Two swabs. It's supposed. Well, here's the thing. In the in the in in the list of contents, even though it has two tests, it only included one swab. On the box, it does say two swabs, though. Okay, well, then that... for Okay, that's cool. But here's the kicker. It had zero swabs. <laughs> zero swabs, even though in the box it said one, and on the instructions it said two. Other way around. I like how you have no lung juice. <laughs> well, it's just part of the COVID. <laughs> but anyway, fucking, you're like, just get a Q-tip and do it. I'm like, that's not the point. The point is supposed to be neutral. You know, safe of... <coughs> 
anything other than any, anything that, that, that may have spoiled it. Mm -hmm. But whatever, it's all I got. So I, I'm like, I guess I'll do a normal Q-tip. So I do a normal Q-tip knowing that this is going to suck. And, you know, swapping the old Nosts. Stick it in that little boy right there. And, and it says that I don't have it. Right? And I'm like, well, yeah, but the, again, there were so many interfering elements. So I'm like, well, I mean, I hope that's right. But there's still another test. I'm like, well, might as well do that one. And that test just came out with an invalid result. Yeah. Same thing you did. Everything was same. Everything was the same. It just said it's invalid. It's like, like, nah, homie. What is that? So I just threw them bad boys smack in the trash I'll, can. I would be pissed if I had paid for them because they were 27, 28 bucks. Thankfully, I didn't. Mm -hmm. There was ways around. But yeah, anyway. I didn't rob them either. But. Yeah, yeah. None of that. But anyway, the point is, um, I was like, well, hopefully it's right. And then like like clockwork, right after that, I get the fucking runs, which apparently is another <laughs> another symptom. So I don't know what the fuck. Um, uh, no other symptoms other than the 1,000 I've already had have come up. Of course, you know... With hospitals still kind of uh, in flux and all that stuff, you're only supposed to go if you get the more severe symptoms, like you can't breathe anymore. Or wake up dead. Wake up dead, yeah. I think is the, the classic symptom. Um, you know, uh, color changes on your skin because lack of oxygen or whatever. So thankfully that hasn't happened. But uh, that's a thing that might be a thing. Pretty cool, I thought. What's worse is, is our mom refuses to vaccinate. Not because of some political statement, but because she's kind of like one of these, uh, you know, like, uh, what would you even call these people? Mm. One of these uh, new agey types. They're nature boys. Nature, naturopathic types. Yeah. So she's like, yeah, I'm all about this weed thing here. That'll, you know. Definitely not the good good either. Yeah, so, yeah, so... I was like, that's a thing. That's not good. You have severe lung issues. Mad lung, gay. Mad so, lung disease. I will say last night I was sitting in my room and I couldn't smell. Um, so well, I haven't I, experienced no smell or no taste either. That's the only thing I that I could be like, that's freaky. Also, I had a cough in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and I was running out of breath. But that's pretty common for me because I have allergies and asthma. So I don't really know. You know what's also, uncommon? I couldn't sleep. I couldn't really sleep at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what's uncommon? Mm. The fucking permeating stench of dog oh, shit. Also, my penis was super hard last night. <laughs> well, that's which is super uncommon, that guy. No, oh, my yeah, not penis for you. been floppier than a, than a freaking noodle, guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I was diamond cutting last night. I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh, anyway. Have you been diamond cutting with your penis at night? Is that a symptom? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, if, it, if it is, I'm safe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if I have it, but it, I sure as hell, as hell had all the symptoms. I have a friend. We haven't, who, really, we haven't really gone out or anything is the thing. Well, it just have like, you know, has that period of time that it could take True. to. Yeah. We did go out like eight days ago, so there's that, but... Um, we did 69. We tend to keep away from people. Had, we did 69. That stranger that had COVID the other day. So maybe that's where we got it. <laughs> oh, man. That COVID, all COVID orgy we attended. Yeah, it was probably not a good, a good idea. Good idea. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I hope I don't. But uh, <coughs> but uh, so it goes. Uh, coughing now. So that's cool. I always have a cough. Don't you? Anyway. <laughs> 